Hey everyone, welcome to the RLT podcast where we share some real life tools, tips and tricks to help you not only discover but also reach your ultimate goals. You get to a decision that you need to make in your life and you become so overwhelmed by that decision making process that you end up not really making a decision at all and you really just you can't move it's it actually feels like you're paralyzed at some point so it's almost like anxiety but it's Mm. it's amplified a a ton more because you're sitting in this pressing situation and you need to make a decision make a choice and you just cannot find yourself or get yourself to the point where you know which side to go to or what to start doing and where to start the process i came across the saying that uh that tony robbins actually said is that Uh, perfection is the lowest standard and that quite intrigued me and I was thinking about that and I was like what do you mean Mm. I always felt that perfection is the highest standard it's always something that you go into an interview you tell you know the 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 person interviewing you if they ask you what is your strengths you're like I'm a perfectionist you know we all love saying that but that should in actual fact be listed as a weakness and I feel that maybe correct me if I'm wrong Mm. that maybe that is where it's coming from as well is the fact that I always strive for perfection yeah and the guest, I forget his name, but he's a Navy SEAL. Um, he mentioned that fear is just two components. It's anxiety and uncertainty combined. Now, if you break it up into those two aspects, you can address them individually. And that makes it better than taking on fear as one big thing. So, for example, anxiety is a difficult one. But let's start with the mm. uncertainty. That's something you can measure by the very analytical processes that you already follow. If you think about the look the anxiety thing with that that ties into fear is a difficult thing to to remedy uh, because it comes from a different part of your brain and it works with um, chemicals in your blood mm. so that's not something you really have control over however uncertainty is completely cognitive it's something that you can actually control and you can train your brain with uncertainty and I think the one thing that I did inadvertently like through life is taking risks and chances but in a small way um, and slowly but surely training my brain to get to get comfortable with uncertainty and understand that there's uncertainty but then by making good decisions and winning a lot of battles or at least winning more battles than losing Mm -hmm. them you build the self-confidence in then not getting uncertain anymore then you only have anxiety so 100% agree with you. I think that is beautiful. Yeah, don't wait for the right moment to for the stars to align uh, because it never will. It never will. You, you'll you just have to uh, mm. do some preparation, plan it to some extent, and then pull the trigger. Set a deadline, pull the trigger, and whatever didn't fall in place right there and then, you'll pull it in place some, some way or another, you'll yes. pull it in place. If you lost your job, Leon, you'll make a plan if you just bought this place you mm. stayed there for maybe a year or two years and you just have this massive mortgage that you have to pay and all that you make a plan that's the beauty of you know, us as mm. human beings we are very resourceful when we put under dire situations so, by the way we're giving away a free five-step personal budget template that will help you take control of your financial goals So just head over to rltstudios.com, sign up for our newsletter, and we will get that right over to you. So head over to rltstudios.com, and we will see you in the next episode. Until then, cheers.